The select board confirmed the town manager's appointment for a treasurer. I am respectfully requesting the board affirm the town manager's appointment of Christopher Heymans as the town's next treasurer collector. Yeah, Chris is joining the town uh, with uh, five and a half years experience having worked for BNY Mellon as the vice president, lead manager, and partnership accounting, senior supervisor. Uh, he also worked one and a half years with Kaufman Rosen Fund Services, uh, Citigroup Hedge Fund Services for four years, and he was at State Street for three years. Uh, he has uh, a bachelor's degree in economics from the University of Massachusetts, Amherst. Um, when we spoke to his references, uh, a previous supervisor noted Chris's particular strength in developing internal controls and documenting business practices. I think as you have heard, uh, we are going full steam ahead in developing SOPs for everything that we do here at Town Hall. Very good. Yeah, I just have, I have one question. Your, your resume is outstanding. And um, you being a VP in the private sector and all of that sort of thing, I, my question is, why do you want to join municipal government? It's, it's a shift in my career I've been looking to take for a while. I've been pondering where I want to go from you know, where I was. And I've done a lot of time in the corporate world. Um, but I'm looking forward to having an opportunity to make a contribution at the end of the day and feel really good about what I do day in and day out. Fair enough. Well, that was actually very similar to what I was going to ask, is uh, why the shift from, public to pri uh, from private to public sector. I'm Irfan, by the way. Um, as a UMass grad, I'm uh, particularly happy to see you. Uh, OK, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great community. I think you'll, you'll be really happy here. Thank you. So, Chris, one question for you. You ever been stuck in a dryer? <laughs> dryer? I always look people's up Facebook. Oh, yeah. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Chris probably has young kids that said, when, Dad, I'll give you five bucks when, and get out of that thing. <laughs> whenever we have a, an applicant, I always bring up their Facebook. and. Uh, uh, that's, you get some pretty cool stuff going on your Facebook. So I'd recommend going there. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I don't think I can get out of that. <laughs> um, so anytime that Mr. Kamalu puts somebody in front of us after their rigorous interview p uh, panels, plural, uh, there's a good chance that they've done their due diligence, checked into things, done your background check, uh, and you've passed muster. So um, I don't generally second guess unless there was something maybe odd that might come up on a Facebook page. Uh, so um, I, am, uh, I definitely feel that you uh, passed the muster. And I'm Brendan, by the way, and congratulations and welcome to the town. Thanks, Brendan. Thank you. The select board also talked about the upcoming special town meeting. Come on. Yeah, through the chair, this is purely an administrative update. Um, just want to remind the public that the special town me meeting one and closes November 21. Uh, to date, we have received the following articles. Number one, there is a citizen petition regarding the Main Street Corridor project with two components. One, rescinding uh, Article 47 vote from 218. Second piece uh, is uh, a request that town meeting direct the select board to seize all work relating to the Main Street Corridor project. Uh, the second petition is the one that the board just discussed. This is in relation to Legacy Farms North Road. We have also received um, four articles from the uh, school department. Uh, the first is requesting a sum of money uh, to complete the feasibility, schematic design, engineering, and related services uh, for the renovation, alteration, and associated improvements. Uh, at the Hopkinton High School. Uh, the second article uh, is requesting funding for um, the construction, reconstruction, renovation, alteration, and associated improvements of the Hopkinton High School. In other words, design, mm -hmm. provide the uh, d uh, documents that are required for the construction, uh, and if approved, then move forward to the construction. And then, Third, 
uh, is a request for a sum of money for the engineering, design, construction, reconstruction, renovation or alteration and associated improvements related to the purchase and installation of modular classrooms at the Elmwood School. And then the fourth article also is a sum of money uh, for the engineering, design, construction, reconstruction, renovation or alteration and associated improvements related to the purchase and installation of modular classrooms at the Hopkins School. So those are the four articles from this uh, school department. And again, uh, the warrant is open until November 21.